Hello, I'm Dr. John Davis with Eye Associates of Overland Park, and today I'd like to talk a little bit about progressive lenses. Um, I think most of us have heard the term progressive lenses. Sometimes it's presented as a no-line bifocal. Um, most of us are also familiar with the old traditional bifocals. Our grandparents or parents may have worn a pair of glasses that has a small line across the lens, and when they would view something up close, they would tip their head up and look down to to look at that close-up object. A bifocal lens is designed to give us distance vision through the top portion of that lens and near vision through the bottom portion of that lens and has a small line that divides the two. The newer technology that's available to, te to us today is called a progressive lens. A progressive lens is a little bit different than a traditional bifocal. It not only has distance image for, for top or distance viewing through the top, and near viewing through the bottom, but it also has really every step in between. So you've got not only distance, but near and intermediate vision as well. Um, that type of lens is set up like this. You have the distance viewing area at the top, like you would have with the old traditional lenses. You have the near image at the bottom, like you would have with those old traditional lenses, but there is also an intermediate portion here. And again, unlike an old traditional bifocal lens where you had a line, there is no line. That lens basically looks like a normal lens, just like what I'm wearing today. But as you go from distance to near, um, every step along the way increases in power. So it has an unlimited amount of focal lengths or viewing distances that are available to you. So that newer type of technology gives us much more flexibility in what we're able to view. We're able to view something close up as in reading material. We're able to view something that's at an arm's length away, just like you would with um, your computer monitor at your desk. Um, also things like um, prices on shelving at the grocery store. Um, you're able to look at something that's arm's length away and get that into focus. Um, another situation might be driving in your car and being able to see the speedometer um, or the radio station, that type of thing that again are arm's length away. Our old traditional bifocal lenses would not have been able to give us that flexibility. It would have been either very, very close or very far away vision with no in-between. Um, there are some disadvantages to a progressive lens. Um, the one big disadvantage I think that, that we come into um, or that we hear a little bit about is that the intermediate portion of that lens is a little bit smaller. And again, as you can kind of see from, from this, uh, this drawing, that intermediate area is a little bit narrow. And these areas over here to the side are areas where there are some distortion with that lens. So when that lens is ground by the manufacturer to give us this distance, intermediate, and near viewing areas, there is some distortion that's created out to the sides. So if you try to glance at something up close and you look down into the sides, you'll get some distortion in those areas of the lens. So if you're viewing something up close, you really have to have that straight ahead of, straight ahead of you or in a straight line with your face. Um, and you may have to tilt a little bit or turn just a little bit side to side to view something that is wider. So with these progressive lenses, um, as with any change, there's always a little bit of a learning curve. We recommend that with any progressive lens that when you get that lens that you wear it consistently or very continually throughout the day for about a week's time. Now, some people because of their type of prescription are able to take their glasses off to read certain items or maybe they don't need the glasses all the time for distance viewing. And so they may be in the habit of taking their glasses on and off. But with the progressive lens, for that first week to 10 days, we really recommend that you're wearing those glasses all day long so that your brain gets used to how those lenses work, that you get used to finding that sweet spot in the lens. And then it becomes very much second nature or very natural to the eye to use those glasses. So that's a little bit of um, background on a progressive lens. Um, we thank you and have a good day.